It's me once more, Teacher Walla, taking you again in social studies. We're looking at the Good Samaritan. Who is a Good Samaritan? Okay, yes. A Good Samaritan is a person who helps someone by showing love and care to them. And in the same story for the Good Samaritan, we have, we have different characters. Can you tell me some of the characters that were there in the story for the Good Samaritan? Okay, yes. We have the innkeeper. We have the robbers. We also have the person that was injured, the wounded person. Very good. We also have the Good Samaritan. Very good. So now today, since we looked at what we learned last time, today we are going to be looking at uh, working together. Working together.
So can somebody tell me what is happening on the chart? What is it that is happening? What can you see on the chart? So yes, you can see people cultivating. So like we have said earlier to say, people work together when they are cultivating. So these people here, they are working together cultivating so that they can finish up what they are doing fast. So now, since we've looked at people working together, we want to know why is it important for people to work together at school, at home, even at home. The funerals, all the places that would be ashamed at church. Why is it important for people to work together? Yes, very good. So we are saying when we work together, we make work what? Easy. Work is easy. So work becomes easier when you are working together. Another point, anyone? So our friend has said that when we are working together, work is easier. Yeah? Yes, okay. When working together, we are saying work becomes easier. Then the other thing is we finish fast. Work is done fast. fast and also trying to finish up work fast. When we are working together, that's when we show each other love and care. Because you cannot work with the person that you do not love. You cannot work with the person that you do not care about. So we are saying when we are working together, we show each other love as a way, way of showing So we are saying when you're working together, it is a way of showing love and uh, care. So now since we've spoken about the times when we're supposed to work together, we've also looked at a chart that is showing people cultivating, meaning these people are working together. We've also looked at the importance of working together. Why is it important for people to work together? So now we're going to look at an activity that we're going to do, trying to see if we have really gotten what we have looked at, what we were discussing on. So for the exercise one, I've got two questions. The first one is saying, draw a picture showing people working together. You can draw a picture showing people working together either at school. You can also draw a picture if you want people working together at home. It can be at church, it can be at farm. But you only have to draw one picture from the ones that I've mentioned. Either people working at school, working at home, at church or at the farm. Then number two is saying, state the importance of working together. Why is it important? We've already looked at the importance of working together. Okay, so this video, the whole video starting from where we started, this video was brought to you by Fountain School. Thank you.